Hey my fashion friends, it's me Lisa. Welcome back to the channel. I knew you would be back. Today I'm going to share with you a quick DIY to your sewing troubles. Haven't you ever been sewing just like all of us? You're in the vibe, you're sewing real good, and then your foot pedal is sliding all over the place and you're trying to find it without looking for it or stopping what you're doing, well, I'm gonna show you a quick solution on how to solve that problem. You only need about $5 if you don't have these items at home, so let's get started. So what you're gonna need is scissors, glue sticks. I used about three glue sticks for this project. Glue gun non-slip shelf liner and a mat so what you're gonna do first is you're going to get your mat and cut it in half now cutting it in half will give you two non-skid mats and I'm just gonna eyeball it you know in tradition for my channel we always eyeball it here <laughs> but eyeballing it um just makes the project more just fun. So with my scissors, I'm just gonna cut it. Ooh. So now you have two pieces. Voila, they match. Trust your eye, it's smarter than a ruler. <laughs> so after that, you're gonna just open up your non Skid shelf liner. And you're gonna unroll it on top of the mat. Oh, well, maybe not. Just unroll it, girl. Just unroll it. Unroll it until you have enough to cover the whole piece. And then what you're gonna do next is cut around it. Now that your piece is cut out, you're gonna just hot glue it together. So my hot glue is already ready. So I, what I like to do is I like to just do the outer edges of the mat, get more glue, and I like to do it slowly because this project will get a little bit messy. If you have black glue for your glue gun, I would suggest that you use that. If you're gonna do the black shelf liner, just so it can look a little nice. So, I'm going to gently pat down to adhere the shelf liner to the rug. So after you have adhered the glue to the mat, you can cut off any excess. I have a, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna trim off the excess. Okay guys, look. This is what it looks like when it's all done. So the shelf liner, this part is where you're going to put your actual sewing machine pedal. And then the back, 
already has its protective lining on it to keep it on the floor. Let's check and see how it works. my petals are all over the place even though I have carpet so I'm gonna put the non-skid petal holders and see how it works I'm gonna adjust my petal Let's see right here I don't think it's going anywhere you guys so I'm gonna put this one right here for my sergers and we're gonna see how they work. So I'm gonna turn my machine on and we're gonna see how this works. It works. Hope you guys love this video as much as I did creating it. And I'll see you guys in another one. <laughs>